Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my shop. My name is Bill Tabbert. Today we're going to learn how to use this. This is a degreed protractor that's used to set the ground adjustable propellers on an airplane. The airplane that we're doing it on, of course, our Volmer VJ-22 seaplane. And that's a warp drive propeller. It was purchased in 1994, assembled, installed, and never ran up to a few weeks ago. Now, we called the fine folks at Warp Drive, gave them the serial number, and they told us everything in the world about the prop and give us a recommended starting point of uh, 14 degrees. Now, that they're not going to tell you exactly what to do, and they shouldn't, but a good reference point, and then you tweak it uh, starting from there. Now, I watched quite a few videos on YouTube on how to do this, really excellent videos in detail. We're going to try to make it as simple as possible. So first off, you got numbers on the inside, and you got numbers on the outside. The degree numbers are on the outside. Don't worry about nothing but that zero on the inside. Okay, so what, the first thing we're going to do is set it zero, zero. So theoretically, all four of those planes are level now. We've jacked up the airplane and put some chairs in the back. That's our high-tech uh, supports in the back to stabilize it. It's already sitting on blocks. It's not, sit, not sitting on its wheels. And, and you can do it another way, but again, simplicity, we have jacked up the airplane with this face plate is basically level. If you can see up there, Charlie, I don't know if you can or not. Now, one other thing that's a good idea. See that bubble off the right? Watch this. Now, this is zero. I'm just going in a different direction. It's further to the right. I turn it around. Upside down. If you notice, it's not always the same. So it's a real good idea to take a Sharpie and make a little mark so that you're consistent how you're using this thing. All right, a little forward there. Let's turn around here. Like this, nearly perfect. All right. So like I said, for consistency sakes, we're going to put a little arrow up and forward so that we know whenever we place this, it's going to be in the same manner. Then we place this accordingly. The same way we put it on the hub, we're putting it on the airfoil. I will get that. So we're going to bracket right here. And of course the flat side is going to go to the back of the propeller or the flat side of the propeller. Okay. Now there's one more thing. Magnetos are off. We're going to pull this prop level. We're not even going to use a, a level. That's pretty good in level. And we're going to pick a reference point. I'm going to use this rivet on the airfoil. And I'm going to use 32 inches. Looks like a pretty good spot. Right there. Of course, most planes you won't be going off the airfoil. You'll be going off the, the top of concrete or floor. But right there, I got a nice spot, 32 inches, and we're going to measure every single one of these at 32 inches. Now, since our setting is 14 degrees, we want the prop to be pitched in a manner that you go forward. So for this airplane, it's going to be like this. We turn it how it's supposed to go. We're going to bring this zero on the inside around to 14 degrees. You can even get right down to the half degree there, right? Very exciting stuff. Okay, that's set at 14 degrees. This is the same manner we had it on here. We're going to put it right on the tip of the propeller. And this is a flat bait, uh, bladed prop tips. So uh, it's pretty easy to be consistent there. All right, so we're right to the tip, 
level with their cutoff. And it's not even close to being right. Now, we're not influencing the aircraft. We're not leaning on it or anything like that. We're going to take and very gently turn this prop, twist it to that bubble's level. Take hands off. Move it a little bit. Right there. Okay. That's it. It is now set at 14 degrees pitch. We're going to snug these two bolts up so that it doesn't move too much. Of course, these are all not loose wobbly, but it's loose enough to allow the prop to spin. So now that we've set this one, we're going to snug that up, bring that down, do the same thing, the same inches off the airfoil, set it, do it a third time, and just for grins, we'll go around and check the whole thing. Then we'll use a torque wrench to properly torque these and torque the main hub. And we're going to check it one more time, and that should be it. That's all there is to setting the props up. I hope it's been helpful, and we can get way more detail-oriented if we need to, but this will get you where you need to go. And uh, we should be running about 2,200, 23 full balls out with that. Have a great day. So as we can see, my son Charlie here is setting up the protractor. You got her set right, Charlie? Kind of loose up a little bit. Okay, not too much. Is it level with the end of the tip? I mean, even with the end of the tip? Yes. Okay, we still set to 14 degrees? Yes. All right. It's off quite a bit, isn't it? All right, yeah. so go ahead and twist it level. That's going to be a little aggravating, can't it, Charlie? Yes. Oh, you got it pretty close. I'd, I'd let that ride, see what it looks like. All right. I can't really see it in the video. Your hand's in front of it, son. All right. You got a little tiny bit more tweak in there, but uh, that's the gist of it. All right. Charlie, what's the next thing you're going to do once you get that uh, leveled up perfect? What I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up these bolts over here. Yep. All right, but we're not going to do it quite yet, right? Because we want to make sure that's absolutely perfect. And uh, then, like I said, we're going to go around and do it again. Check it. Torque everything down and check it again. And then what? Job done. All right. That's pretty much good. And uh, that's it.